This music always gets me so amped. Welcome back to Swarm Queen, or as I lovingly like to call it, Bug Wars. Alien <laughs> Bug Wars, but Bug Wars. It, this is a game that was made by Helmy Bastami. We're gonna be asking the question and talking about it during today's video of whatever happened to Swarm Queen? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? That kind of a thing. I just love the art though. Like, look, look at these creepy little glowing yellow eyes and these electrical tentacles, which are, you know, I guess if you fry them up tempura style and even chopsticks and some soy sauce, they could be pretty good. Now, before we start, what we're gonna be doing is using some of our 39 upgrades. As we've progressed through this map, we're gonna be doing a challenge and we're gonna be warming up right now. Remember the little little baster plant? Like when you're when you're cooking a turkey? That, that's kind of what it looks like, you know, the little nozzle and sucking out the water. We're gonna make alien turkey, uh, turkey pies. Right? So we gotta figure out which upgrades we want to use. Now, we've got 20% queen health given the healthy trait, and we've got 39 points, so we can get a few here. A lot of these seem to be balanced, right? One, either swarm queen, but we don't want any of that. We don't want to help the enemy, so we're gonna upgrade Neurotoxin Splash. The Neurotoxin is one of the cool special abilities in the game. I like this. Potent stem cells allows our queen, basically our base, to heal plus one point whenever we create any enemies. And now we've got 13 points. So it's like, do we want to upgrade this one? Downgrading or canceling your egg mutations? There's this evolutionary mechanic in the game that is just incredible. And we could also reset everything and redo it. But I like this. See, our minions are building faster. Our Neurotoxin recharges two seconds faster and it has a larger damage radius. So we're really using an upgraded Neurotoxin ability. Here's the challenge modes, right? Wait till we get into that. So we're gonna go straight into level 20 of Swarm Queen, Bug Wars. Now, it's kind of similar to what I'd like to say. Oh my God, this is the developer's voice. What's wrong with your voice? The dialogue is incredible, but we're gonna be skipping it. <laughs> hey, it's so good that we're just gonna be skipping right into it because I wanna get into the, the basic mechanics of the game, right? So there's kind of like a build order mechanic to this game right now. We sent out our harvesters. These little guys that look like almost like troglodyte, um, kind of like roly poly bugs. They're out there and they're harvesting nectar from these really strange looking, uh, what, what kind of animal would this thing look? It's like a turkey, you know, like it's like a turkey peak, oh, peacock, that's what I'm thinking. It's a turkey peacock bug plant. It's the scientific name. Now this guy in the middle is called the worm. He's like, he reminds you of that dude from Dune that pops up, just a much smaller and baby version, right? And he sits here and when this countdown ends, he's gonna spit a bee out every couple seconds. But here's the evolutionary mechanic, right? So time pauses right here, but we have our swarm queen has a couple of eggs, right? And so we can do a number of things. This guy's a blade maggot. He's really good at melee. He's terrible at shooting down air targets because he can't, because he's a melee specialist. Then we have the spitter. It, it, it does what you think it does. <clears throat> it spits acid. It can shoot at ground targets or air targets. Not very good against uh, taking melee hits, but really good at shooting down air. And when supported, AK behind the front lines of some melee units does pretty well. Then you've got the zapper. He's a flying jellyfish thing that shoots lightning bolts out of his tentacles. It's, it's kind of scary. And say the enemy is using a lot of those little flying jellyfish, you may want a waddle rocket, which is basically a kamikaze bug with an explosive tip and he just flies up and blows up. He's like a surface to air missile. We've got goop slugs, which is kind of like the supporting cast. And then we've got this thing, which is a proto organ. But when we build it, it, it offers a number of like upgrades to the queen herself. So one of the first things we're gonna wanna do is upgrade so we can send some melee soldiers out because you better believe that the enemy is gonna be sending hers against us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven and we've got eight plus two. We don't know, what, let's see what's coming out. I'm thinking, oh, I was, I was expecting some blade links. But remember, we have upgraded neurotoxins. So now, oh look, what hit my health? The bees, the bees, man. It's like, what, what are those memes? Oh, and here we go. We've got a little enemy wave of these baddies. So what we're gonna do is fire some neurotoxins to stall them for a moment and also do a little bit of damage. Remember, our base is taking damage from the bees. The bees, man! The bees! And then we got a little cooldown here on our neurotoxin, which is kind of like our special ability per se. So we're gonna send our guys out, the good guys. Remember, if they're not us, they're the bad guys. We're gonna do a little neurotoxin support, and then we're gonna have a nice, strong wave of like five of our bladelings. Now, every weapon that we have, the enemy has it too. So one thing I'm gonna be doing right now 
is I can upgrade. This is the beautiful thing about this game. The upgrade system to it, right? I'm actually gonna go and upgrade my harvesters to a heavy harvester. Tier two. It collects one more nectar and has a bit of extra health. So we're gonna do that while we're holding the line and using neurotoxins to basically stall, delay, and hurt the enemy. We've got the bee man. If we hold the middle ground, it's like king of the hill. The bee man, the worm, Mr. Wormy McGurmington over there fights for us. So we can upgrade our ground soldiers or we can immediately go into creating new bugs. And I'm thinking spitters is, is a nice and classic way to get us out there. Now, you'll notice the enemy wave is very, very large and in charge. So we're going to use our neurotoxins. And I could use this thing. It's called a bio nuke. That thing will nuke pretty much everything on the screen except for the harvesters and the queens themselves. And you'll notice that we're kind of saving up a little bit because I want a big combined force to go out at about the same time. All right, so we bought our time. They're probably tacking up. Who knows what they're doing? We don't like them. We're gonna send out a strong front line. We're gonna stall the enemy with some neurotoxins, and then we're gonna go straight into unlocking a third unit. I want the air power zappers. So we're all still tier one units, but we have three different options. And then I'm thinking we go straight to these guys, spewers. We're basically upgrading our spitters from level one to level two. And we're gonna get some flyboys, so we'll retake the middle ground, and then we're gonna really start putting the pressure on the enemy after we upgrade our harvesters to the, I think it's the final tier, yeah. We're getting tier three. So our economy is gonna be pretty strong. Let's go ahead and delay the enemy a little bit. We're not gonna be able to push them back too much. I guess we could do a little, quick little air force rush, and they'll be forced to adapt to that. I'm trying to think, okay. They have tier two harvesters, and we have tier three. You can see these spiky sections. Here's our little flying jelly boys. Good work. Oh, and look, they, they just massed air power. That was, that was very wise on their part. So let's go with, I'm gonna go with, I think we should upgrade our ground soldiers to these guys, the skitter bugs. We can go two different routes. And look at that, the zappers are just shooting them down, but eventually these guys are gonna come out. So we just went all melee because if they're doing that, that's fine, that's fine. We can deal with that. It takes a little bit of time to upgrade. And they're attacking our harvesters, you'll notice, which A, I don't really like, so we'll, we'll do that. We'll just stall those guys, and our melee specialist will deal with their tier, lower tier melee guys, and we're just gonna kick their butts, quite frankly, because we don't like them. And we're gonna tier up again. Now that we got strong attackers, I wanna go with bombers. These are one of my favorite units in the game. I just love how they'll just like go out there and drop bombs. It's like we're creating a very, very strong air force. All right, so you'll notice that this red line indicates that I can't drop a neurotoxin further on there. I want them to bunch up. I want to do as much damage as possible. And it looks like we could probably get about five. That'll be pretty good. Neurotoxin them all. It, it kind of confuses them for a little moment. And let's go ahead and get some bombers out. So these guys will fly. What is this thing? Oh, it's the support guy. He fires a bee. And he's kind of like long range artillery, isn't he? So here we go. And then I'm thinking what we want to do is upgrade to the big baddies. So we've got like, it's like a fighter plane out there dropping like a single bomb. And what we want is we want to upgrade these guys to like the super bombers. He drops three bombs. So these guys will drop one bomb, then they'll fly the whole map. Go back to base and pick up a new one. But yeah, so whatever happened to Swarm Queen? Well, this amazing game was essentially released for free in its full version before it was ever released to Steam. The developer of the game just like was like, hey, he woke up one day and was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a game. I, I can do a few things. I can animate and illustrate, but I'm gonna learn to code. I'm gonna learn to make music. I'm gonna do all these things and I'm gonna do it all by myself. And he did that. And it's pretty freaking impressive. Like, I mean, think about how wild that is. Look at this. You got tier one units, son. We're kicking your butt. It's time to get big daddy bombers out here. So our air force is doing pretty strong. We've got a very strong ground force and very good air support. So it's like we have Spartan warriors and then like B-50. There's the B-52 bomber. Pew! Pew! <laughs> I love it. We want more of those. And let's go ahead and support our guys because eventually we're going to have to re-bring out a frontline unit. By doing that, it keeps the enemy on the defensive to where they can't just like start like, oh, we need to shoot down their air forces, right? We don't want them to do that. Look at that. And since they can't attack the ground, it's just, it's just easy, baby. It's easy. Oh, they fired a nuke. All right. Did they? Ooh, some of my air force actually did survive. It looks like a decent contingent of my air force. The nuke 
is also Scorched Earth policy. It, it hurts me and him. And I like it when it hurts him too, <laughs> alright? We don't like that guy. We're gonna change things up by bringing out a little Spitty McSpitterson. And then, let's go ahead and just experiment with the Proto-Organ. It's something that I never really did much with in the past. So we can make your minions faster? Whoa. All your ground minions get charge. And all of your new minions attack 20% faster. That wouldn't really benefit our Air Force. Your Neurotoxins charge 20% faster. And then tier one minions cost less, but we're pretty upgraded. So I'm thinking we don't really want that. And like, look at this Air Force. Now we got a spitter out there backing up the line. So it's like, we're, you know, general strategy games, rock, paper, scissors, right? Yeah, we're, we, got our, we got rocks, we got scissors, and we even got one paper out there. And you're like, wait, what? Well, this is like, you know, like rock, paper, scissors, like archer, Spearman and cavalry kind of a thing the cav the spearman gets shot by the archer But he takes out the horse and the horse takes out the archer and the archer takes out the spearman It's like the, a beautiful balance right time to get air forces not enough nectar But one of the things we can do is this is kind of cool. I like this We're gonna downgrade this and then I'm actually gonna upgrade my air force because I'm gonna get I want big bombers and little bombers out there I, I just you know what let's go heavy air force Check out my new minions. They will totally kick your butt. No, they won't because it's too late for you, son. We're kicking your butt. <laughs> All right, and look, we're going to get mini bombers. Mini bombers and big bombers. Why? Because it's funny, and I like it. Now, do the bees attack my Air Force? They do, don't they? Look at this little Air Force, but we'll bomb them. All right, Air Force, so let's see. We'll, we'll pop out a big guy. Pew! He'd take off, and a little guy. But eventually now, it's just like, this is just a modern Air Force going up against... A very ill-defended enemy. We haven't seen too many spitters, and that's what they need. I'm actually kind of surprised that they're still pumping out the melees. Because, listen here, we're gonna crush ya. We already know we've won, because we've won in our minds. And look at, look at, you can tell where all the neurotoxins have been going off, because there's just like all this like residual acid. Oh, it's gross. It's so gross out there, dude. But yeah, so it's like, since the game was released for free, and then later released on Steam, I don't think like many people became aware of it when it was launched on Steam. And I also think that the game would have done very well on mobile. It's just a beautiful and nice and classic lane strategy game. So essentially now I'm like, I'm just relying on my Air Force. They're like they're gonna get these last bombs in. Look at that, that guy still has, oh no, I'm defeated. Not yet, you're not defeated, yes. All right, we still got a chance. Yeah, sweet, sweet victory. We lost fewer minions than them, we won the battle, and our queen stayed above 50% health. So overall, we got three stars of victory. And you can see that the map, like, you could see about, like, oh, I don't know, I think this is probably seven or eight minute mark, we just crushed the enemy. They nuked us, and I, and I think it destroyed everybody, but some of my air force was flying at the time. So you can see the army side, you can see when the nuke was, okay. So the nuke was actually here. Yeah, about there, right? About right here was when the nuke was. I wish you could overlay these charts, but overall. And this, and when you go through the campaign after every level, you get to unlock a new unit or a new upgrade for an existing unit. This one is the Siege Caterpillar. It's a really freaking cool bug, man. A lot of this stuff reminds me of a little bit of like StarCraft and a little bit of Starship Troopers. But where the game really shined over other lane strategy games was the upgrade system, right? So now we get to go to the challenge levels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the one health queen. Basically, I haven't beaten this one. Your queen has one health, but the enemy is normal, but there's no wormy. So we can't afford any, I repeat, no incoming damage. It's one I've never been able to beat. And this is kind of cool. We get to choose, you know, let's fight at night on a volcanic level. And uh, it's time to get three stars. So knowing everything we know, I need to be perfect. Now, I don't have to worry about Wormy at all. So what we're gonna do first is go all economy. You have about $100. We're gonna put 25 bucks four times into the little harvesters. Wow, feels bad, man. You know what else feels bad? And look, the nuke will probably have to be used as like, well, obviously, a last minute, you know, uh, does this look like a monkey to you? No, it's kind of like an insect, three-eyed insect. There's some really interesting fossils. And I love how you see all these like, exotic planets and kind of like space locale, would you, would you call it that? In the background. So one of the things we want to do is stay ahead of the enemy and honestly, 
I feel like in strategy games, like, generally a strong economy will allow us to do... You know what, let's go ahead and cancel that so that I can get bladeling research going. Because I should be able to get, yeah, more money. So by the time that's done... Let's see. We're looking for any... I call them bladelings, but I guess they're, they're blade maggots. And actually cancel that. And we'll pop out two of these. And then we'll go back to our final builder. So, I think that's a pretty good build order. I'm not sure what they're- one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have more than them, which I like. So I'm kind of sending out a wave of two and then a wave of two. Normally, they'll probably punch out like four in a row, I think is what they kind of do. And we're waiting to upgrade a tier two here. So we're gonna support this with the Neurotoxin Artillery Barrage. They'll probably do the same. This'll stall them and allow our two to fight a little bit longer than maybe they otherwise would have. So hopefully we'll we'll capture the battlefield, at least temporarily. Alright, so we got our money there. We're gonna upgrade the economy to tier two. Alright, oh my god, they're just mad, mad pushing out there. So I think what we need to do is actually like conserve our resources a little bit. Save up for this, Neurotoxin. How many do we have? We have three against the five of theirs. So we're gonna hit them early. Before hopefully before any of their attack animations start. So that gives us a little bit of a, a, a nice little punch there. And we're gonna go, I think it's time to go for these guys, the spitters. They're, they're not too expensive and they're gonna be very good support units for our army. And we're gonna save up 100 and, and just pump out. Look at this, we've got 10, we've got max harvesters and these guys are out. All right, I think that's pretty good. And let's go ahead and delay these reinforcements a little bit. Hit them, stop that so we can focus on these guys. Oh man, this is getting a little, a little hairy. Remember, our queen has one health. Luckily, there's no wormy though. All right, I think. Oh, it looks like we can have 12 economy. I, I can't. I wish you could kind of tell. I wish there was like a. Other than counting, <laughs> you could you could kind of get an idea. And I'm thinking what we do is upgrade to skitter bugs, or should we just? You know what? It's part of a complete balanced breakfast. Let's do it, and then we'll upgrade our economy. They're still at tier one. We'll support these guys, keep them on the field as long as possible. And then I think we need a 125 to upgrade from tier 2, which we're at, they're tier 2 as well. And just to keep the enemy on the off foot, which they're not because they're just pumping out skitters boys, is we're sending out some flyboys. But now we're gonna have to save up for melee soldiers because we're out. Oh, this, this could be actually pretty dangerous. Oh, they're attacking our harvesters, that's what's up. Alright, let's do that. And then focus on a very, very strong melee push. He's also tier 3, you can see by the spikes, and he's got some spitters. So if he's going spitters, then we want to go pretty much lots of melee. Because these guys are going to get wrecked by any aircraft. They're dual purpose. So one of the things we could do is upgrade our spitters. Let's see. He's, this is the smart bug launcher. So we get we have two ways to go. Do we want to go more spitting, or do we want to go auto-targeting bees? Hmm, that's a good question. Or one of the things we could do is tanks. If he's massing up these, I think I'm gonna go tanks, actually. But look at our melee guys just crushing them out there. And tanks are pretty expensive. So he's got a lot of guys that, you know what, we're gonna have to, let's see. All right. We'll have tanks and then artillery support behind them. Look at it. Look how many legs they have. They're like, it's like a centipede turtle. You know, it's, it's really weird. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll hit him with a neurotoxin at just like a very good moment. We'll bring in some air forces. But I'm, our, our tanks are pretty good at just <clears throat> tanking damage so that we can crush these idiots. Oh, they got these guys. So these guys are actually going to be pretty good. All right, well, if you're doing that, then see, you have to evolve different. Only drops one bomb per flight. Let's do it. We'll bring in those guys. We'll rely on the Air Force once again to lead us to glorious victory. We'll hit these guys. Did we get him? Oh, he got one attack animation out, which, which kind of sucks. But hey. It's part of the job. So we got a little bit of these little taser Tesla coil guys, but we're bringing in the bombers now, which should help a lot. But one of the issues is tanks are super expensive. They can stay out there for a very long time. Oh, I actually really, really like the tanks, man. I'm very pleased with that result. Oh, the bombers are getting shot down, so I'm thinking what we need to do... We need to evolve. Okay. I think we just need more advanced spewers. Look at this. Oh man, now he's got air forces too, but luckily, I think we made the right counter to have more advanced spewers. More advanced spewers and tanks. Look at this, look at these guys just crushing them. And then our air force will hopefully 
Ch turn the tide. Okay, so he's got advanced spears too, but we got tanks. Look at these. These guys attack multiple targets, so they're able to do lots of damage here. So this, this, oh my god, like, look look at how much bomb barrages there are. All right, so we're, like, at the enemy gates here. I, I can't support with neurotoxin artillery from off screen, and their spewers are just spewing more than our spewers are doing. Whoa. All right, now we can do it. So let's hit them right here. Boom. And we'll bring out some more tanks. Bring out your dead, supported by artillery, but look at that, man. I think we need more artillery support because the tanks are doing their job. And now they're bringing out the melees. So what is it going to be that's going to help us cross this chasm here between us? I don't think waddle rockets. I think a goop bug could be good. I got the proto organ just to like analyze it again. I know, right? Didn't, didn't we just do that? I'm actually going to bring out some bombers. Why we take this moment? Like, I feel like we're holding the line and don't I have? No, I don't have tanks, but we'll see how it works. I feel like with these spitters and the bombers, we're doing, look at this, man. We're doing some Titanic type damage out here. No, I'm not talking about the ship. Just an adjective that determines and specifies how glorious our endeavor is. All right, so I'm thinking what we need to do. Whoa, replacement ammo for your bio nuke? Look at the bomber, pew! <laughs> See, these are tier two. I think the tier three specialist is really good at Beating up on tanks. The tanks, luckily, will do damage to their little uh, harvesters, so maybe that'll help. And look, these guys don't really last too long. It's hard for me to send out big waves with how expensive the tank units are, so they always seem to kind of hold us here, right? So then I think we do want the goop bug. We need longer range artillery to support the tanks. And they can hit flyers too, so they're, they're pretty multi purpose. So right now, what I'm trying to do is save up to a couple tanks at once and use a biotoxin to stall these guys as they're coming in. Three tanks is massive. Now they need to be supported with the spewers. Yeah, and there's just like a long line of just death coming our way. And now what we're gonna do is support them with goop bugs. We haven't built one of these. You haven't seen one yet. If you watch the old series, which we have a, a, a nice series going on Swarm Queen. It's, oh man, those were good times. These guys, you saw them look. So they're healing right now. And I think they can target the enemy. Oh, now they went Scorpos, which are really good at targeting tanks. They're really good at destroying tanks. But if they went Scorpos, then they're not focusing on air power. So now's my time that I go bombers and keep supporting with neurotoxins. So they'll drop their bombs, they'll keep flying, and eventually I'm gonna have to save up for tanks because they're just crushing everything out here. The Goop Boys, come on Goop Boys. Oh no, man, all of our land units are getting destroyed. And then they win spitters again. Okay, so if we had if we had pushed more frontline units, I think we would have been fine there. Oh my god, look at that, look at that. It's like anti-aircraft defense is out of this world good. All right, Nectar, you gotta be ready here, and boom! All right. Now we can upgrade our tanks to super spike tanks. Melee attackers take six damage. Hmm, do we want to do it? And they cost 90, so it's a little bit more. I think it'd be better just to keep using them because I don't see right now they're not really doing it. And we'll upgrade to super bombers. Super bombers might do it. I love the Air Force units in the game. All right, here they come, boys. Lots of Scorpos, the dangerous ones. But we got a super bomber. While they were doing that, <laughs> idiots. I love it. Okay. Man, I think when they hit, they do poison damage, too. Oh, man, that Neurotoxin just shot down one of my Air Force units. It's really tough, man. These challenges are incredibly tough. And look at this. We haven't even gotten too far. I wonder how long this battle has taken place so far. Oh, shoot. They got Air Force. Look at, look at this Air Force. That's dangerous. We're going to have to rely on spitters. A lot of them. Can they be upgraded even more? They can to these guys. Belchers. You know what? Belchers is the Belchers is the way right now. And now we've got a hundred nectar. We can do it. Alright, I wonder what you're up to over there. They're cheap. Oh, and our bomber's still alive, actually. Wow, he's he's doing really good. Belchers are getting absolutely wrecked by these things. We we need some tanks to support them, but they're pushing forward, which I do like. My flyer is still going and being healed. So maybe a little preview into what we could do to certainly win this game. Uh oh, goopy. You know what? We're upgrading tanks. It may be dangerous because, no, 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 we can, we can, that bomb should take him out, yes. And look, they're healing each other. So Goopies and, and Air Boys work very well, but look, the poison over time. Uh-oh, they got those things too. Yikes. Ouch. That really hurts. Not as much as we're hurting them, though. Here we go. All right, so how do tanks do against Scorpos? Do we take damage over time? K 
Can this be the final push? I don't know. That enemy army is massive. And what one of the things that I want to do is I want them to use their nuke before we use ours. These spiky tanks are pretty good. All right. I, I, think, I think we've got it. We might... No, that tank just died. All right, I've been saving up. We're gonna pump out a lot of tanks. Oh my God, I, I think that may have been like right at the last moment that we could have gotten away with it because they're like in our line. Oh, and we actually lost a mineral guy, so we're gonna have to replace him. The bomber's still going, they're focused on melee. Good, good, good. Let's put a goopy goop out there to support this line. And actually, we need more of these dudes. Dang it, those neurotoxin bombs suck. Look at it, I don't know what hit him. Oh, he got shot down. Those three tanks have made it all the way there. Here come the big bombers. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the these guys, they can't be upgraded. Interesting, okay. The goop boys, the goopsters. I'm liking this, though. I'm liking our chances. I feel like he's going to be half, forced to use a nuke soon. We're slowly but surely pushing. It's wild. If we would have been hit one time and one time only, we would be dead. Our chances of victory would be zero because... <laughs> we would have lost oh man look at the little egg sack of the swarm queen that is gross so we're gonna we're gonna start pushing bombers now i feel like my supply lines are pretty strong my in my front lines rather and we want to force them to have to deal with this so they're going to be building units that deals with this not the bombers themselves oh yeah this is good anything that pops out dies you can see that they only have got like two to three of the harvesters left their income is falling to poop and we're pooping on them, you idiots. Oh, he dropped the nuke. I, I should, why did I forget about the nuke? Now what we want to do is we should have just bomb rushed maybe, but if there's enough bombers still alive, look at that, that's three bombs. <laughs> Hold on, boys. Here comes the Air Force. <laughs> All right, that could actually, that was pretty close to being it. Green Swarm Queen OP, please, Blizz, please nerf. Oh, now they got these dudes. Oh, man. Come on, just one more bomb. Oh, we need more than just one more. Here we go. Come on. Drop it. Yeah. Oh, my God. And we actually got all three stars on this challenge. We finally did it, and it took us a whopping 20 minutes. That was a really, really tough challenge, but it was awesome. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.